Hello children. Hope all of you are fine at your home and your parents are also fine. We have finished the chapter 5, Coal and Petroleum. Now we should start the chapter 6 that is Combustion and Flame. In this chapter we will discuss combustion, flame and fuels. But uh, Today we are going to discuss about combustion, combustible substance and ignition temperature. Combustion is a chemical process in which a substance burns in presence of oxygen to produce heat and light. For example, oxygen helps in burning of the substance like magnesium to produce magnesium oxide, heat and light. Carbon burns in presence of oxygen to give carbon dioxide, heat and light. The substance which undergoes combustion is called a combustible substance. It is also called a fuel. If you prepare a list of fuels used at our home, used in industry, in automobile, we will find there are several types of fuels. For example, at home, we are using cow dung cake, LPG, wood as fuel, while in industry, LPG, CNG, coal, In automobiles, petrol, diesel, CNG are used as fuel. We are also doing work, so we need energy. And that energy we will get from a fuel. So what is a fuel for our body? Food is fuel for our body. So we must take healthy food. We avoid taking junk food. How we get uh, energy from this uh, food? During respiration, digested food is broken down by the reaction with oxygen producing carbon dioxide, water and heat. This energy is utilized by our body. Thus, respiration is a slow combustion of food. Remember, respiration and breathing are two different processes. Respiration starts from breathing and ends in exhaling, while breathing is just inhaling oxygen. Sometimes, light is also produced during combustion, either as a flame or as a glow. Air is necessary for combustion. So the substances which burns and produces heat and light in presence of air are called combustible substance. But to burn the substance, a minimum temperature is needed. That minimum temperature is called ignition temperature. Different combustible substance here would Coal, LPG, kerosene having different ignition temperature. So we can see the minimum temperature at which a substance catches fire and burns is called its ignition temperature. A substance will not catch fire and burn if its temperature is lower than its ignition temperature. For example, the ignition temperature of kerosene is less than the ignition temperature of wood. Matchstick do not catch fire on its own at room temperature because its ignition temperature is higher than room temperature. So while we burn a matchstick, what is our purpose to raise the temperature of this phosphorus at its ignition temperature? And that is done by friction. So while see this one, 
now it starts burning when it's ignition temperature now see the carbon dioxide as a smoke so the substances which have very low ignition temperature and can easily catch fire with a flame are called inflammable substance for example petrol alcohol lpg cng so hope we got the idea about combustible substance and ignition temperature based on this there is an activity here the aim of this activity is to identify combustible and non combustible substances materials here i have recommended which are available at your home so take the material given in the observation table here burn each of these material one by one in presence of parent because right now you are at your home so do the activity in presence of your parent and also i would like to request your parent that they should present while you are you are doing any activity at your home i note down the observation in the observation table sample is here given but uh, after doing go to this link fill your observation there and the result will be reflected after the submission of the activity in google form thank you have a good day